It's graduation day at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. These students have worked hard for their college degrees. Caroline Marie Musquay. Now they have to write their resumes, practice their interviewing skills, and start to look for jobs. They're hoping that their degrees will help them get good jobs. But with so many graduates to choose from, how can employers make sure they find the right person for the job? We spend a lot of time and money as recruiters trying to make sure that we have the perfect fit. Desi Osinsade is a recruiter. She finds the very best graduates to work in jobs in business. She says a degree on its own doesn't give her enough information about a candidate. It tells me the person's line of study. It doesn't tell me if they are good at things like critical thinking and problem solving, do they work well in teams. A resume in and of itself with a degree from anywhere it does not tell me that. Professor Bass at Georgetown has also noticed this. We're hearing from employers. How do you differentiate between two graduates? Two graduates may have the same degree, but do they have the same skills? And how can they prove to employers that they have the right skills? It's easy with a, with a degree to show what you've learned in biology or in business, but it's not as easy to show what you've learned in terms of leadership. Communication is a very human activity. So Georgetown University has started a special course. In this course, students learn and practice a range of skills that employers are looking for, like good communication. These are sometimes called soft skills. Students also develop their problem solving and leadership abilities. Students who take the course earn a qualification called the Catalyst Badge. It's a digital document that proves a student's progress. It shows employers that graduates have important workplace skills like teamwork or communication. What we see in the badge is a way of trying to help students tell a story about some dimension of their learning that might otherwise be merely a line on the resume. Alexis Oni Esselet. Alexis Oni Esselet has just graduated with a degree from Georgetown University. Alexis also earned the Catalyst badge there. She's now job hunting. And then if you click there, it'll take you to this website, which tells you everything I needed to do to become a Catalyst. She thinks the badge has helped her during a job interview. The interviewer asked me to talk about a time where I showed initiative and I was able to talk about the digital badge and all the steps I had to take in order to get it and to qualify for it. The journey from education to work has a lot of challenges. Graduates have to keep up with a changing job market. And a digital qualification like the Catalyst badge shows that a candidate has more to offer than just a degree on its own.